Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use my three main accessories when using my internet box. One, the remote that you normally get when you purchase your internet box. This is your basic remote. Number two, this is an extra accessory the mouse. I'll show you why it's always best to, or convenient to use a mouse. And most importantly, your wireless keyboard. Let's start with the regular keyboard. On the keyboard, you have your power, you have your mute button, you have your volume up and down or up, down and up. You have your return button. You have your home button. You have your right, left, up, down, and enter or AKA um, OK. That are main features most important features of this particular remote. So if I'm using this remote and I want to go from point A to point B, I click to the left since I'm going to my right. I mean I click to my right one, one, two. Now if I want to go down, I go down one and I'm over. Now if I want to go across I'm going to go to my right, to my left, one, two, three, four, and whatever. That's if I, if I want to go up, I click up, and so on. Now let's say if I wanted to click enter, I'm on one of these. Let me see, I'm here, I'm going to enter settings. So I'm, I'm where I, I want to be, I want to click Okay. I'm in settings. Now, if I want to change network, I can go, I'm going to hit the right button. One, two, three. Now, if I want to go back, I'm going to hit this side. One, two, three. Well, let's say if I want to change my network, I go down and I can either change my Wi-Fi connection or go over and change to my Ethernet. So let's say if I change to my Wi-Fi. I'm on Wi-Fi. I click OK. And I wait for it to refresh. Now, here are my local Wi-Fi connections in the area. So if I want to go at the bottom, if I want to go down, one, two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth. All right, let me see here. If I, let's say if I choose that particular Wi-Fi, my Wi-Fi connection, I'm there, family tree, of course. I click OK, and I go over. Now I'm gonna click. Notice it's it's um highlighted in white. Uh, I'm gonna click the white or the green rather. Click it. C click. Now I can type it in. I'm gonna if I'm just using the remote, I would go down to my letters. Okay, see how my letters? I'm gonna move up. I'm gonna move across. I'm going to move down, I'm going to move across, and so on. If I get to a letter that I want, I would, let's say for example, um, let's say if I wanted to backspace, I'm going to show you how to backspace. Now, uh, let me see here, give me a second, let me get it off. All right. I, I, I backspaced it out, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to hit OK. OK. Internet. All right. 
right, let me see. I'm, I'm going to use that as an example. Now, see where it's blinking right there? Okay, I'm going to click it. All right, now let's say if the password was um, one, two, or A, B, C. If the password is A, B, C, first I find my A. Okay, I'm looking for an A. A, 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 A. I'm on A. I'm going to click OK. There's my A. Then I'm going to find a B. I find a B, so I click OK. Then I'm going to find a C. I'm going to go over there, C, and I click OK. Well, what if I put the wrong letter in? What if I wanted that, instead of putting a C, I wanted the password was a letter D? Well, I have to erase that D. So, I would go, let me see here, give me a second. All right, now, I'm going to backspace. Hold up, let me get it together. Where it is? Do, 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 do. I'm getting it. Give me a second. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of that C. So in order to get rid of that C, I go to backspace, and that's if I'm using this. Okay, see the backspace right there, right there. I click it. I remove the C. Now I go to my D. There is my D. Now that I got the password A, B, C, or whatever, I go down, click down, because I want to get to right there. So I go down, one, one. All right, let me see. I need to click done, because I'm done in that particular area. All right. Then I click down to connect. And of course, that's the wrong password. But if that was the right password, I would be connected. Well, let's say if I don't want the um, Ethernet, I mean the wireless, I'll just click Ethernet, click OK, wait for it to connect. I connect. Now I don't want to exit. I'm going to get out of here. On the remote, you click the return. So, um, I, I have two options. I can click return. Or that's just to go. I can just go back by cl clicking return. Um, now, if I were to go back, give me a second. I can also click the home. That will take me to the home opposed to the last page. All right. So if I click home, and I'm back home. Uh, if I wanted to go down to Facebook, I go down one two three and over and I click OK I'm in Facebook now if I want to exit Facebook give me a second um, I want to exit Facebook alright I'm out of Facebook um, let me see what else can I do Let's say if I want to go into Cody. I go into Cody, the K, where the movies are. Click OK. Wait for it to load. I'm going to wait for my Facebook page to finish loading. As you can see, my previous messages are loading up. Give me a second here. I'm going to use my mouse for a second to remove these messages. I'm going to, as if I was on my phone, instead of using my finger, I use my mouse, put them right there, and I got rid of them. We'll talk about the mouse in a second. Now I'm still using 
the regular remote that you would normally get with the um, internet box. All right, as you can see here, you have you have system. I'm gonna click over programs, music, videos, pictures, and again, I'm using these two buttons to go right, 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 and then I'm gonna go left, left, left. Okay. So let's say if I wanted to go into videos. Now, the movies are located are, are located in video add-ons. I can click videos and I will then have to click video video add-ons. Okay. Or I can go back. I'm going to go back. Hit the return button. Okay, and I can go down. I want to go over to add-ons and click video. And um, since I'm under videos, I'm, I'm going into video add-ons. So I'm going to click OK. And that's video. And then I'm in video add-on. So if I want to go from right, from left to right, I click left right 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 if I want to go down I click down 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 if I want to go left I click left 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 if I want to go up I click up up if I want to go to my right I click right now if I want that particular app or add-on I click OK now since I'm here it says click here to open channel list. So in order to get from here to here, I have to go down one and now I'm going to click OK. Now I have all of these categories. So I click down to get one of the categories. Let's say if I want, all right, let's say movie channels. I have more movie channels, so I'm going to click okay and let's say I find another move let's say encore let me see let's try this one depending on the server I click okay all right click it again Do -do 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 -do. Okay, now I want to pause that. If I want to pause it, I'm going to click pause. Okay, if I want to stop, I want to, this is stop right here. So I need to go to my right, so I'm going to click to my right. If I want to go to my left, I go to my left. If I want to stop the entire movie, I just put it on stop, click OK. And I stopped the entire movie. Uh, let me find another one. Or let me go back to that one. Let's say, I'm going to click it again. Okay, wait for it to load. Alright, sometimes you have to click it twice. Especially with this particular add-on. Alright, so I'll click it again. No, no, I'm still using this remote. Um, we're going to find a movie real quick. I'll go in here, find a movie, nine movies. All right. Wait for it to load. I'm going to click latest. Well, what if I want to go back one page? I'll click return. The little hook right there. Okay, I'm going to go up. That's up, down, left, right. So I'm going to go up. And where I want most watched, click OK. OK, I'm looking for Hitman 47. I'm going down till I find Hitman 47. 
Hitman 47, Hitman 47. There we go. I found Hitman 47, so I'm going to click OK. And wait for it to load. Okay, now I want to pause. I want to pause. I click the OK. OK, click so that uh, that will appear. Pause. Now, with this remote, if I want to turn the volume up and down, or pause it, I mean, or mute it, I would mute it, for example. Hit that. It's muted. If I want to turn it up, if I want to turn it down, I turn it down. If I want to pause it, I hit the pause since it's on pause. That's stop. That's pause. I want to pause it. I hit OK. OK. And if I want to exit, stop the movie, I hit stop. And on stop, I hit OK. Sometimes it's faster to use the mouse. So I'm going to use the mouse. I already have one connected. So I can use the mouse. I can, let me see, I can go up and scroll up and down. Where is Hitman 47? I'm on Hitman 47. I left click. I'm using the mouse. Wait for it to load. It's loading. I'm down here. I can pause, left click. Also, the advantage of using the mouse, let's say if I want to fast forward, I can left click right to where I want to go, right, let's say right there. I left click and I'm fast forwarding. If I want to go some more forward, left click. If I want to go back, I go to where I want to go back, I left click. I go back some more, I left click. And that's how you go back using the mouse. That's why I like using the mouse because I can, let's say if I want to go to the end, I left click and I'm at the end. And um, so I'm going to pause it. Now, since we're right there, I'm going to show you the remote. I mean the keyboard. The keyboard, for example, here, up, and down. That's that's the volume. Volume, up, volume, down. I'm using the keyboard again. So, I want to start or stop with the keyboard. I'll click the OK to my right. Click. Now, just like the other remote, I can go right, left. I can go right. Now, see this right here? You know how you use a mouse, I mean a laptop, a laptop and you don't have a mouse? Watch. Okay, where's the little cursor? The little cursor would normally be here. When watching a movie, the best tools to be using would be your keyboard and your mouse. Your, key, your mouse, you can fast forward and rewind your keyboard you can go right left so on and so forth if I wanted to re, uh, let's say for example you gotta type something in this is what, another reason I like using the mouse if you have to type something in alright give me a second alright let me see I'm gonna hit search I clicked OK. Now I'm going to search. Now in searching, if I were to use the mouse, I would have, let's say, if, I, if I'm looking for the word Ben, the movie Ben, first I have to find, I go over, go up, I look for my first letter, and see how long it's taking me. B, B, I find an E, E. N. 
Now, what if I didn't get that, if that was the wrong letter and I needed to change that letter? I go down to backspace, change it. But what if I had to go over to the E? If the E was right and the B was wrong, I go here, I can go over, I go here, I can go back. Okay, right, left, right. All right, so now I find my letter N, and I want to go over to done since I'm done, and I'm going to see if it's in this particular add-on. I don't think it's not in this add-on, but I'm just using this as an example. So I click done, okay. Give me a second, and I'll let it load. Now these are the bins. So I go down to SF. I want to bin her. Three hours, 32 minutes. Of course, I won't be watching that right now. I'll let it load. Okay. I st stop it. All right. Now, um, another thing. Again, this is time consuming when you have to type. That's why you use your remote. Uh, let's say if I'm watching a movie. Give me a second. All right. All right. Now, I'm watching it. Now, remember when you had to read the mouse to go up to click forward? so on and so forth to rewind um, you can do something s similar with this particular keyboard how okay I'm gonna hit up I'm going f I'm forward one two I'm going for notice the time I'm going every 10 minutes 10 minutes it's on 150 two hours 210 each time I click it that's 10 minutes now, what if I want to start from the beginning? Okay, I go back 10, 10, 10. Well, I just hold it down until I get to the beginning. And I'm at the beginning of the movie. I pause. Uh, let me see, I can stop. And I'm doing this in the event I'm in the bed and I want to jump up from the bed and use the remote. I can hit play. So instead of jumping up for the remote and try to type something or click something, uh, let me see, what am I doing? Is it playing? Yes, it's playing. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Oh, fast forward. Now with this wireless keyboard here is your return or yes yeah, that's your return where it says back over here is your escape if I wanted to escape click click escaping now I'm there let's say if I wanted to go back while the movie's playing I'm gonna play the movie the movie's playing I want to click escape, go back, browse while the movie's playing, click add on, so on and so forth. Now, if I want to exit whatever I'm looking at, you know, and go back to the movie, I click back and click back again, and I'm back at the movie. Of course, I have it turned down. I want to pause it. I want to stop it. If I want to stop it, it'll go off. So if I want to check, um, the only thing that's going to knock the movie out completely is if I go back to the home page. How do you go back to the home page using this? Because if you use this, you can just click home and it'll take you back to the home page. If you use this, you have to escape click the escape right there that button right there when escape now at the bottom to your left 
I went down. I had to go up, up, down. So I'm down. Now, that's favorite. You don't have to worry about that. I'm going to go over and click. I want to exit Cody. I'm going to click OK. It's asking me to exit. Yes. Give it a second. Sometimes you click it twice. One, two. Let it load. It'll go out. Now I'm out of Cody. All right. And for example, if you wanted to go in and type in a password, okay, it's a lot easier when you're using your wireless keyboard opposed to using that mouse and you got to slide over, slide up, slide down and around and all that other nonsense. And if I want to exit, I want to go back, I can either click this to go back a frame, or actually, go here, it's easier, escape. Okay, I'm going to come down, one, go over, down, over, 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 Cody. I'm going to go online, click OK. I'm online, waiting for Google. Now, this somewhat cumbersome when you're trying to do this, when you use this. So I use the mouse, and let's say if I want to go right here, I'm going to click right there with the mouse. Now, I'm right here with the mouse. I can type in the letters K, 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 and hit OK, or click that, or let's say if I want to take the K, K, Ks up, I can click, I can back one, two, Three, and type in the letters. Type in Baltimore. B A Baltimore. Okay. Click OK. And it's loading up. All right. I'm gonna go down. I'm clicking down, down. And again. I can do all of this with the remote, I mean with the mouse. I can scroll up, scroll down, so on and so forth. If I want to click visit Baltimore, I left click, wait for it to load, and so be it. If I want to exit, I right click, one, wait for it to load, come on, and I'm out. That's just simply left clicking. So again, the mouse is good when you want to do something quick, fast, and hurry, like left click, right click, whatever. Um, this, you will use this most of the time. Once you get the hang of this, you would, you would use this 90% of the time. So what happens if your keyboard is not working? Well, you want to make sure this, this belong, where is it at? This is your um, USB port your USB um, for your keyboard. Your receiver here for your keyboard goes in to your TV box in one of your slots. I normally put place mine in number three. So I place it in number three. So to recap, you use your regular remote for basic stuff. Uh, when you want to go to the home screen, blah, 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 turn it on and off. That's your power on and off button. Um, power off. Power on. Okay. Your mouse. And, of course, most importantly, your um, keyboard. Worst case scenario, if you use, lose this or break this, you can use your keyboard. Turn it on with your, uh, pull out the adapter cord, plug it back in, and you're set. And just start using it with your keyboard. Hopefully you found this helpful. Thank you.